Year 2020 is very tough and a rough year for all of us, but most especially to those who have lost their loved ones. We lost our three dear brethren this year. Brother Nards, Sister Sylvia, and just recently, Brother Elmer. Their death caused much pain and grief to all of us, especially to their families. But these things taught and reminded us of the brevity and fragility of life. Life is uncertain, so we need to make the most of what God has entrusted us, and most especially, to use the life that God has lent us to honor and glorify His name. As the saying goes, only one life will soon be passed, only what's done for Christ will last. In times like this, regrets and what ifs will arise. But may this quote and prayer encourage you to move forward. God, grant me the serenity or peace to accept things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. There are things in life that we cannot change, like the death of a loved one. We cannot turn back time. All we can do is to forgive accept and entrust everything to God then there are things that we can change and we need to ask God for his grace to change those things that we can for the better and for his glory yes moving forward will be very difficult and healing may take some time but I know that God's grace will be sufficient for all of us. Year 2020 is about to end, but still, we never know what will happen next. Gloomy as it may seem, but one thing is sure, our sovereign God is in control. As the song goes, God is too wise to be mistaken. He is too good to be unkind. So when we don't understand, when we don't see His plan, when we can't trace His hand, trust His heart. For you right now, whose soul is restless, anxious, and broken, let me leave you with this quote from St. Augustine. Our soul is restless until it finds rest in God. Only God can give us the true rest and peace that passes all understanding. Therefore, rest in God, because in Him there is fullness of joy. In Psalm 1611, it says, Thou wilt show me the path of life. In Thy presence is fullness of joy. At Thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. We hope that this short video presentation give an encouragement and hope to all of us, especially to the Fernandez, Bundang, and Rillon family. May God be our light and lamp in the midst of this loss. Finally, let me quote Second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 2 to 4 Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ Blessed be God even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort who comforted us in all our tribulation that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. God bless us all.
um, inassign po tayo ng MFDC na uh, way back, I think is October, first week of October, na uh, tinatanong po sa atin kung uh, tutuloy ba natin ang, ang missions man. Eh, ang sabi ko po sa, sa church uh, leaders, bakit hindi natin tutuloy? Bakit ba, kahit ba nasa pandemic tayo, stop natin ang, ang pangangaral ng Biblia? Okay, so, ang pandemya po ito ay very special. Pero, this is nothing compared to those who went uh, before us. Maraming uh, sa recorded history natin, nakita natin na uh, yung ang pandemya ay hindi kailanman naging uh, 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 disconnection sa pangangaral ng, ng salita ng Diyos. Uh, so huwag natin bibigoy ng Panginoong Diyos. Nakita na, ko sa history, most notably itong si Martin Luther, uh, during his time has also have encountering pandemic di sa in his uh, ho- in his uh, city in Leipzig the, the death is just around the corner in his time okay okay pero uh, alam niya nakipaglaban sila tinuloy niya ang tinuloy ng uh, tinuloy niya ang pangangaral ng Panginoon today uh, we are mandated by by our lord to to still proceed with with, with his word Salamat po sa inyong lahat. Ito lang po yung mare-report ko. At uh, uh, nagpapasalamat ako sa aking family na tumutulong sa akin dahil, yeah, sa, sa mga members na rin po.